We're not going to stop playing till somebody bleeds. We will play until somebody is bleeding, even if it's tonight, eight o'clock. And even played number 10 that day. And he was the first guy that started bleeding. <laughs> that was about two hours into the match. And I remember that lip and the blood streaming out of his mouth. So that was, that was kind of the beginning. Even was nowhere near the imposing figure he is now. He was under 14. He was a small boy. Uh, we played him in the back line under 15, under 16. So he played 10, 12, wing, fullback. We weren't actually sure what to do with Eben. Yeah, and in and, and grade 11, he had this growth spurt. And then just out of necessity, we had to play him at lock. We had no other choice because we didn't have that, that size kids in our school. And he started off slowly. They, they didn't win one match in grade 11, but they also didn't lose one match in grade 12. He was a great student. He was, he caused us very, very few discipline problems. They're naughty like all kids. Can't take that away from children. He participated and they, he, he, was, he was part of a, of a family that cared for one another at home. And then he was part of a tira, that's what we call it, a tira family at school. And he was a great family member. He never played 18. Never, 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 never. And in that process, he, he just never quit it. He never said, because I'm not in the A team, I'm not playing. And because he never quit it on himself, he actually never quit it on South Africa. Because if he decided as on the 14 boy or on the 15 or on the 16 boy, because I'm not in the A team, I'm, I'm not going to play. Who would, have, who would have played number four lock for the past 100 and plus minus 30 tests for South Africa and be known as the most feared rugby player out there or the best number four lock in the world. That thing within us that is an undefinable character, he just never had that thing within him of quitting. And we're getting the benefit of that now. Like the rest of South Africa, I am extremely emotionally invested but because I know him personally because I know the Eben it's a bit story because I know that no one gave him a chance to succeed because I know where he comes from it's just it's it's personal it's um, Yeah, it's very satisfying for me.